Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the FE Civil Exam dealing with statistics and the critical t-value. So let's dive in. Find the critical t-value for a 95% confidence interval for a sample size of 10. So to solve this problem, we're going to use the FE Reference Handbook, and at the time of this recording, we're using version 10.2 of the FE Reference Handbook, and specifically in the handbook, we're going to turn to page 77. And on page 77, we see the T distribution chart. And the first step in solving this problem is to calculate what's known as the degrees of freedom. And so the degrees of freedom equation is just something we have to know. It's not given in the reference handbook, but it's pretty simple to remember. The degrees of freedom are equal to n, which is the sample size, minus 1. So in this case, degrees of freedom is equal to, well, we're given in the problem statement a sample size of 10. So 10 minus 1 equals 9. And then we're going to turn into the reference handbook on the chart on page 77 of the t-distribution. And that first column has a series of numbers ranging from 1 to 30 and it jumps to infinity. So that column is the degrees of freedom column. So we're going to work our way down that column until we get to 9 because we said there's 9 degrees of freedom. And then we're going to work our way across the column or towards the right of the page. And we're given in the problem statement that there's a 95% confidence interval. So step 2 is going to be using that chart and we got down to the degrees of freedom in that column to 9, and then we're going to work our way across the row. Now, we know that we have a 95% confidence interval. So what we need to do is we need to take 100 minus 95, and we know that that is equal to 5, right? Pretty simple. But we need to convert that to a percent which would be 5% or 0 0.05, right? Those are all the same thing. 5% is the same as 0 0.05. So back to the T distribution table in the column of the degrees of freedom, got down to 9, and we're going to work our way across the row until we come across the column for 0 0.05 alpha value. So if we work our way across the table, we see the first column is 0 0.25, the second column is 0 0.20, the third column is 0 0.15, the fourth column is 0 0.10, and the fifth column is 0 0.05. So that intersection where degrees of freedom is 9, work our way across the row to the column where alpha value is 0 0.05. We read the t distribution at that point, so 0 0.05. Then we're going to read the t distribution at the intersection point, And the t critical value is 1.833 at that intersection. And if we look at the answer choices, that is answer choice C and we've successfully solved this problem. So a pretty straightforward problem if we know how to use the T distribution table and what each of the values represents. If you're looking for more practice and review with your FE exam preparation, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our FE exam review course for more practice. And we'll see you there.